we've had how many days in Isan with your family? I take them go uh, spend time with my family. It's four days. Four days. Felt yes. like four months, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> very very busy house but at last we've started our road trip from Sukunakan to Chiang Mai so we just had some errands this morning to do in Sukunakan didn't we yes we're headed to our first stop which is going to be Udon Thani just for one night I booked us a fabulous four-star hotel yeah where we can have a bloody good wash charge our batteries and do everything because in your house it's difficult to charge things because there's children running around everywhere. So we spent four days driving back and forth to the city in Sukunakon, didn't we? But uh, now it's just me and you. We've had our cafe Amazon. You've yes. had your Emroy Hasib, which is like an energy drink. Here's the lovely car, she's going well. And now we've stopped at the first destination which we're going to have for lunch. So this is just on the city limits of Sukunakon, isn't it? Yeah, new landmark in Sukunakon we call uh, Khon Sang Meung Panaburi. Look like uh, people build like a uh, khom. Temple. Building. Yeah. Uh, the loop is different. All right, well let's go and have a look around and see if we can find you some food. Yes, All let's right. go. This is big car park. If you come, you can come here. Yeah, plenty of parking, isn't there? easy to miss though so we'll have to put a map location we drove straight past it didn't we you were sleeping and then you woke up and you were like david turn left here and i was like what? you've given me like one second's warning and i'm doing 100 kilometers an hour in evening here it's so beautiful because you can have our dinner here it's half table and next to the river Ooh. what do you call a river or a lake it's beautiful yeah it is nice isn't it this there's a friendly lady you can use the zone outside or inside and have aircon over there. You want to have this view, you yeah. can sit around here. Yeah, nice to have a view. I don't I don't think I need aircon. And it's not humid. Sometimes when you go to like Bangkok, Pattaya, Phuket, very humid, the air is very wet, but here the air is quite dry, it's nice. So let's just revisit what we've done in the last four days in Sakunakon, because I can't remember. Day number one, we went to get the car fixed, didn't we? Yes. New tires, changed gearbox oil. We spent quite a lot of money on that car now. Probably, <laughs> probably about half its value <laughs> we spent on repairs. I reckon the value of the car is probably under two hundred thousand, so under Song Sen Bar. Oh, really, Song Sen Bar? Less than Song Sen Bar. But I've spent 65,000 baht on it. I've spent hot moon half and baht. Yeah. yeah. And uh, hopefully that will see us good now. The only problem is I hadn't realized the back doors don't open. Uh, and so in the cab, so actually we're lugging our big suitcase back and forward because there's not, not actually enough room inside the car. But that's okay, we'll deal with that. After that, we had the car cleaned thoroughly to make it look very clean and comfortable inside, yeah. which was nice. After that, oh, we spent the day, didn't we? Because um, I have a, um, a medical problem where I have a breathing machine that helps me breathe when I sleep. And some ants in your bedroom, in your house, came inside the machine. And so we had to find a man to professionally clean the machine. We were very lucky to find such a specialist. He was in your city for one day, wasn't he? Uh, it took us till 4 p.m. to actually find him. And then he took the machine away and, and cleaned it with an ozone cleaner. I haven't tried it yet, it's in a sealed bag, so I didn't want to reopen it and then have yeah. the ants come back again. But I think it was because I left some water in the machine and the ants like to drink the water. I did not know ants like to drink water, but they do. And then the next day, we took your mum to the hospital all day, didn't we? Basically, a repeat prescription. I hadn't realised, but we sat, well, it was an hour to drive to the hospital. We sat in the hospital four hours and then an hour home, so it's six hours in total, and we came away without the pills. The doctor spent like 30 seconds with your mum, didn't, didn't he? He just said, lift your left leg, lift your right leg, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. So next time you said, you're not gonna take your mum back to hospital, because you yeah. can't walk. I mean, it was just, it wasn't very comfortable for her. Yeah. Or for anyone, really. So anyway, next time you do that, you'll just go back to the hospital, or even just say to the doctor, just post the pills. So the pills weren't ready yesterday, so on our way now to Udon Thani, we've collected the pills from the hospital this morning, and we've been to the post office, by Sini post office, and we've posted the pills back uh, to your home, which is quite funny, because on the parcel you had to write from address to address. 
and it was the same from address and to address and the man was very confused we just said yeah we're, we're on our road trip now we're not going to drive all the way back yeah. another hour hour and a half to go back to your parents house quick and supposed now we're having lunch you've been here before haven't you really yes. quickly I, you did a thank you video for one of uh, one of your subscribers who um, bought your coffee and so you said thank you here so we'll give you a little show round what have you ordered? I order a uh, som tam prawns. Prawn papaya salad. I've ordered spaghetti carbonara. Why? Because for the last four days, I have basically survived on Philadelphia cream cheese and tomato sandwiches. Because I'm quite adventurous at many things, but the food in Nissan, I can't get along with. It scares me. Everything scares me, doesn't it? So I've just been having cream cheese sandwiches for like four days <laughs> in the countryside. We've got a really nice hotel book tonight. So yeah, I guess we'll just enjoy our lunch. Excited about a road trip? Yes. Me too. I feel free when I have a car. I don't feel like, uh, you know, isolated. So good. The car's driving well. Very happy with it. Good aircon. It's the most important thing for me. The food has arrived. My spaghetti carbonara. Looks pretty decent. Some damn prawns. I show you the prawn is so big. This is uh, popular in Thailand. Mm. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that prawn, yeah. Hanging over the spoon, isn't it? Wow. Not cooked. Uh. And a nice view. How's your food, dear? Not easy to eat. Like you order oil massage, but people just do um, Thai massage for you. Super spicy. It's not a relaxing uh, meal for you, no? No. It's a challenging meal. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's very rare to see Rose hit her limit on spiciness. <laughs> Oven cup. If you want to come here, you can go back to my video channel because I make video about this area. Hmm. They have coffee shop. That's the one. And very nice view and have cocktail bar. Mm. Yeah. This is uh, outside aircon restaurant. You can sit here and have rice music here. It's pretty nice. This is the air conditioning room here, is it? Restaurant have aircon. You can sit inside. It's have many table. They have steak, chew cheese, som tam, isan food, and spaghetti. Yeah, falang food. Falang food. Good. Yeah, I really enjoyed my spaghetti carbonara. This is for show. You can sit there, not bake, okay? You sit on it, you'll break it. You always do that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> over there is kitchen for them. Cook uh, there and serve that's over quite there. a long way to walk, isn't it, in the kitchen? This is nice power. Yeah. People make new. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? This is like a rice field, I think. Rice those. field for make nice before, but right now it's time for cut already. So they've harvested the rice here. That's quite novel, isn't it? Build this sort of entertainment venue over the top of a rice field. Oh, I think you'd like to eat in these huts here when the rice is here. I know you like to look at rice, don't you? Yes, I like to feel warm. <laughs> Why do you like to look at rice? I don't know, I like it. Same you like to watching the building. Let me just go and take a photo down here. This is quite pretty. And the roofs are like rusty corrugated iron roofs. By design, it would appear. Yeah, nice. This is the name of it. Punnaburi. You want to see inside? Yeah, why not? This is very nice coffee shop. Yeah. With a nice view here. They're really colourful, aren't they? Yeah. Macarons. She's okay. smiling, it's very beautiful. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you the cocktail bar. This is where you gave your sister that strong cocktail. Yes. <laughs> I, remember, I remember that video. I wasn't here, I was back in the UK, wasn't I? And you brought your family here for a day out. But this is like a two hour, even though this is still Sukunakon, this is a two hour drive from your house, minimum two hours. Yes. Probably so two far. and a half hours, yeah. Sukunakon is a big, big state to cross and there's not that much here. So to have a place like this is quite good, isn't it? All right, so here's your cocktail bar. This is craft beer. Craft beer. Mm -hmm. Craft beer and cocktails by the looks of it. <laughs> yes, cannot drink beer now, driving, sorry. And you can come here in the evening, I think it's beautiful view. I agree. Lovely place to be. Alright, let's hit the road. Hello, welcome to Udon Thani Gai. We are in 
Panarai Hotel in Udon. This is four star hotel. This hotel is 1,000 baht. Include the breakfast. You can see this one, a king bed. Ooh. And then have a... We booked a twin room because that was all they had left for 980 baht. But then in the notes I said, look, if you have a double, that would be great. So they did find us a double, which is good because online the double was another, well, it was another three or 400 baht on top. So we saved some money there. And this is the fit you have got and TV. I want to show you if you want to eat snack, it's half and have the pie here. It's good. You're very excited about the mini bar, aren't you? <laughs> this is menu for food. If you want to order food with him, yeah. this is the fish. It's full of beer. beer this is why Rose huh? is excited. It's because there's a beer fridge, basically. When you lazy to go out, you can drink here. <laughs> and I think a beer is like, was it 45 baht on the menu? Well, expensive. 75 baht oh, for 75 beer. baht for beer, okay. Yes, and you have got coffee, drink, yeah. table for working, yeah. and you have a big wardrobe. Big wardrobe with a safety box just over there, which is good. So and this is the, the bath and toilet is different. Right. Ah, so that's nice. So you've got a shower cubicle here. Yeah. With a glass window, so you can stand in the shower here, and I can sit on the toilet, and you can look at me. Yeah, and I we have a big mirror. Amazing. Hmm. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? So this is a four-star hotel. There's a swimming pool, breakfast included. And I thought I would treat us to a 980 baht hotel after four days camping at your family house in Sukunakon, which is, in my head, I call it camping. <laughs> and uh, so now I'm going to have a bloody good relaxed shower. Oh, it's got balcony as well. Balcony is car park, you can yeah, see. Yeah, not much of a view, is it? It's just the car park, but... So this is Udon Thani and we drove in and my first impressions of Udon Thani is it's closer to the cities that I know than say Sukunakon. Sukunakon city seemed quite small and yeah. not very much there. Udon Thani already I can tell there's a lot more here and in fact this hotel is on a bunch of Falang Bar streets isn't it? You know it's like one of those soys with lots of bars on which I don't know whether I've got the energy to bother with tonight but maybe we'll go out and find something. All right, so I've got to have a quick meeting on my video call on my computer. You're going to do some YouTube editing because you're way behind with your YouTube videos. We can show you around when we go out at night and we can show you the bar around here. It's so interesting, right? I stay in Pattaya or Bangkok, so mm. I Pat Pong. Yeah, it looks like a little, uh, not a little Pattaya, that's, that's wrong. We're definitely in the happening area and there's Central Shopping Mall apparently within a one minute walk from here. And the reason I booked this hotel, it was the best reviewed hotel close to the shopping mall, so yeah, yeah. excited. want to show you the breakfast in Panarai Hotel. You're very good when the camera goes on. I mean, you always smile anyway, but instant smiles, instant <laughs> presentation mode. I'm exhausted. We went out for beers last night. We did say we were going to shoot a video, didn't we? Good morning. Glory cup. Breakfast? This way. Yep, thanks. We did say we were going to shoot a video in uh, Udon Thani to show the nightlife, but actually, have. I we, show you a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. We took some photos, didn't we? We yeah. didn't take an amazing amount of footage. So we just had some food at the night market. We've chosen a table next to the swimming pool. You joked with me this morning, didn't you? You said, how is the swimming pool? I said to you, Rose, I booked a hotel with a nice swimming pool. Of course, we've seen nothing of it. First time mm. we've seen it, and we're only here for one night. We're moving quite quickly, aren't we, through different locations? We don't have time for swimming, but you can see this uh, pool is amazing. Very big. You can relax. People can uh, cooking food for your egg omelette is here and inside is have table for seat too if you don't want the sun come to you because when you go outside late for breakfast I think it's have sun a little bit mm. here oh, It's lovely and clean isn't it? Look at that! Spotless! Alright, let's go get some food I love her kitchen and have the small fan Look at that! <laughs> Ah, mix smell good and this is a lot. If you want to put something you can tell her add this tomato mushroom. In Thai we call um Muyo. 
Oh, really nice. So we have a quick review of the breakfast ham. So, oh, you're going for the ham already, are you? Oh, yes. So, <laughs> we're trying I'm to video Rosie's not waiting. In you go then. <laughs> ham sausage beans, baked what potatoes. Oh, what are those things? You fed me those at your house, didn't they? In Thai, we call Pa Thong Go. Multiple eat with coffee. They're like little donut. Yes. Deep fried donut type things. Cute. Toast. Can you see they've got Vietnamese banh mi's here? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Banh mi. Rice porridge. In Thai we call khao tom. Porridge with pork. Chicken coconut. Oh wow. What do you call that? Tom gai. Tom kha gai. And this one. waffles here. Oh wow. It's quite a good breakfast, isn't it, hey? Cabbage, pickles, eggs. I have to do quickly because I don't want you bored. Pork, bread curry, noodles, eggs. And have a lot of salad Ooh, here. Salads, yeah. It's really cool, isn't it? After four days of Philadelphia cream cheese and tomato sandwiches, I'm very pleased to reveal my four-star hotel breakfast at the Panerai. A couple of chicken sausages, a little bit of ham, some potatoes, eggs, and a salad with a balsamic vinegar dressing. I haven't seen balsamic vinegar for months seems like so that's nice what have you got Rose I have got a salad and uh, this is we call khao in Thai and eggs I don't know what I uh, eat for breakfast because for me it's so early you're not very good in the morning are you yes sometimes you're nagging me to say you just go to breakfast alone I don't want breakfast but then really when you come look at all the food you eat <laughs> one two three four <laughs> all right bon appetit enjoy yeah thank you after the lovely breakfast. We don't have time for dipping the pool, sadly, but we'll just give you a quick look around the hotel facilities. So we've seen the pool. i show you the gym. You can come for exercise here and have two machines for lunch. It's functional, isn't it? When you come here, this is the view you get. And it's a cracking location, this hotel. It is literally, you step out of the hotel, turn left or cross the road, I forget. And, uh, and then you've got the day and night bar complex, if that's your thing, which it certainly was for us last night. We had a great time there playing pool. Uh, and then the night market's like no more than a three, four minute walk away. Yeah, brilliant location.